Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to take a look at application to application and application to database credential management capabilities offered in Manage Engine's PAM 360 solution. So uh, a typical enterprise will have uh, various applications requiring to talk between each other. You will have some applications in need of access to databases to receive information or to update information. So in all of these cases, credentials are involved. Um, uh, in most cases, uh, it would be um, credentials required to be embedded into connectors or config files, or even in some cases, XML files. And uh, managing these credentials are a challenge uh, for the fact that one, it's, it's hard coded, and the second point is if you change the password of it, you have to manually update it in all the dependent areas where the passwords are hard coded. So with Manage Engine PAM 360, we have uh, two type of API capabilities available. First is the RESTful API, and the second one is a SSH-based CLI API. Um, so let's look at RESTful API, as it's um, quite common and fairly straightforward to use. With the RESTful API, you basically sugar an API request, which in turn gets authenticated against PAM 360 to allow uh, for a particular operation to be executed. So for example, you have a PowerShell script and you have a username and password hard-coded inside that script and you are looking for a way to remove it and also automate it so that you don't have to manually update the password inside that PowerShell script every time. So in this case, all you have to do is modify your PowerShell script, remove the actual hard-coded password, instead replace it with this HTTPS GET request. So this is an example of a, a RESTful API request. Basically, it's uh, pointing to PAM's URL, and it's uh, sending a unique authentication token, which will in turn be authenticated by PAM 360. And it, it's, it also has other reasons, like information and etc. But the bottom line is, when the script runs, it will fetch the credentials out of PAM in real time, and then it will continue performing its operation. So it's a simple example of how you can fetch passwords out of PAM using a programmatic fashion. And there's a three-stage um, authentication mechanism available for it, where first we check the host name to match, make sure the request is not coming from an unknown host or a malicious host, for example. And then we also authenticate with a TLS certificate, which is used in PAM 360. And then a third layer is where we check the authentication token sent by the API. And within PAM, you will be able to go to Users tab and register an API user. So it will ask you the host name from where you're going to use this API. Um, and uh, you will also be able to generate this random authentication token, which can either be hard-coded in your partial script, or if you want higher security, you can even uh, make a design where the partial script will retrieve the token from elsewhere and then request PAM 360 for a password. But the idea is fairly straightforward. You trigger an API call to basically retrieve passwords or account name or any other information from PAM 360. And similar to this example, we can do various other operations as well. Like you could uh, check out a password or uh, request an approval, uh, uh, approve a request through API or download a certificate through API and all of these operations. So this would help you in managing your A to A and A to DB credentials, and also help you in eliminating hard-coded credentials across your IT infrastructure, be it scripts, config files, cron jobs, XML files, and other type of uh, uh, files where you will typically have credentials hard-coded. So you could make use of a RESTful API, and also SSH-based API, especially if you're a Linux shop, it's fairly easy to, uh, uh, trigger an SSH command, which will basically authenticate against PAM 360 and retrieve the password, just similar to RESTful API. So this is uh, one of our capabilities on how we can help you in managing your A2A and A2DB credentials. And thank you, uh, thanks for your time in listening to the video.